Hey there Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome. Capricorn, this is going to be your love reading for March. What you can expect, what's coming towards you, what's going on in your love life. Okay, so let's get into it. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, Venus, um, this reading is for you. Okay, Capricorn, we have the Page of Pentacles. So you may receive some kind of offer. Wow, okay, the Devil. Seven of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The Two of Swords. And the chariot. Okay, your current energy is the Knight of Wands. So I, I feel like with this energy, I feel like you're really upbeat. You're really positive. Um, I feel like this person coming towards you is very outgoing and enthusiastic. Um, I feel like they're in a happy place, and I feel like when they're around you, they're even more more joyful. Okay, if that can be a thing. Okay, but I feel like this person is coming towards you and they have an offer or they have some kind of communication to speak to you about. I feel like this communication is good news and I feel like it's coming from a place of deep thought. Okay, I feel like they've been soul searching. They've been looking for um, that certain one. They've been searching. And I feel like they've come to an end of their search. They're now going to give you some kind of offer that, you know, is going to be good news to them and hopefully good news to you. Okay, uh, we do have the devil. So this may be an earth sign, particularly Capricorn energy. Um... Or Capricorn, this could be your energy needing to make a choice in the situation, okay? Um, but I feel like there's several decisions ahead of you is what I'm getting. Um, I feel like there's choices that need to be made in the situation. With this Seven of Cups energy and the Two of Swords, I feel like there's a choice that really can't be delayed is what I'm getting. Hmm. This person doesn't want you to delay. They want you to make a choice. Um, I, I feel like this is going to be coming from a very happy place. Um, and I feel like this person is thinking about you a lot. They're, they, they want to communicate their thoughts and feelings towards you. And I feel like they want to know if you're open to receiving these thoughts and feelings because they, they particularly want to share them with you. Okay. Um, this person may also have children. Uh, so there may be children that are affected in this decision. Uh, but there is a particular decision that needs to be made. There is a choice that maybe you'll be making blindly um, in the month of March. Okay? But I feel like this person is actively moving towards you. This energy is strong with this uh, Knight of Wands energy. So I feel like, you know, you're moving to a more enthusiastic time and I feel like this person who's coming towards you is also at a very positive time in their life okay and they're ready to move forward they're ready to start something new um, start a new adventure <laughs> start a new love with you okay so let's get a few more cards we need to clarify Oh, excuse me. 
bending over is tough. Uh, I feel like I'm getting too old for this. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we have, let's get a few more cards to clarify. Spirit, let's clarify this. Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Can we clarify the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, please? Okay, we have the Four of Cups. Like I said, I feel like this person is actively searching. They're, they're um, thinking about you. And they're wondering if they're going to miss the opportunity to, you know, make you this offer or you know for this offer to come around they're really worried about if this offer is going to pass them by you know they're trying to catch you at the most opportune time the the best timing okay and i feel like they're just deep in thought like i said i feel like this person has been searching for a while you know as we look at the queen of swords staring into the distance just thinking, you know, and the hermit energy. They're thinking about what they're going to say to you, how they're going to approach you. If you're going to be able to accept their offer, you know, I, all of these things are running through their mind. And they're hoping that you make a choice that is going to bring you and this person moving in the same direction. Okay, because I feel like with this Seven of Cups energy, you may have more than one option. You may have more than opportunity to be with a different person. But I feel like this person is telling you, you know, move my way. Okay, um, I feel like this person has the strongest energy. Okay, with the Hermit and the queen of swords we have the temperance card so i feel like this person has went through some type of healing and they are being very patient when it comes to how they move forward towards you okay and i really do feel like this is a new person i don't feel like this is someone from the past even though we do have the six of cups here i don't feel a past energy i feel a new energy with this person okay um but i feel like this person is very balanced and they have a lot of patience to wait on you to make a decision because they're looking for a soulmate they're looking for a companion with this two of cups energy and they're hoping that you're looking for the same thing that they are okay i feel like this has the ability to be a very strong union between you and this person okay tell me more about this seven of cups and the chariot please the ace of swords they definitely want to speak their mind they want to open up to you about things um they definitely have a lot of love in their heart for you with this page of cups energy I feel like they, you know, the, they want to open up their heart, but they want to do so knowing that, you know, they, they're not going to be refused. You know, I think that they have a fear of, you know, being denied, you know, um, with this Ace of Swords energy, I feel like, you know, they have pushed and pulled with their thoughts and feelings because I feel like they have went through some kind of heartbreak in the past um, and they're they're kind of torn between how to approach this situation how to communicate exactly how they feel to you um, because you, I'm getting that you may be aware of this person but you may not be aware of how they feel okay um, Tell me more about this situation, please. I want to know a little bit more. Okay, we have the full energy. So definitely they want a new beginning with you. This is definitely someone new. And they're actually coming in a little naive, I think. Um, 
they may be coming in very soon to make you this offer because I feel like they're like ready to start this new chapter. They're ready to start this new journey. And I feel like they've went through a lot of discovery. They went through a lot of healing, you know, and I feel like they're anxiously waiting for you to kind of give them some kind of sign, some kind of Of decision that it's okay okay that's what I'm getting very interesting we have the moon so I feel like with the fool and the moon energy I feel like there there's something that's kind of between you there's some kind of issue um, there's something holding you both back from the situation. There's something that's hidden, okay? Um, very interesting. Tell me about this moon. I want to know more about this moon. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Okay. The Seven of Pentacles energy. They, they have a lot of patience in this situation. Um, what's hidden is they're looking for this to be some sort of new start. But I feel like they've like planted the seed. Maybe they have come around you and kind of, you know, flirted. Um, back and forth with you kind of planted the seed to see how you would react okay and maybe they didn't get the certain response that they were looking for but I feel like they're kind of patiently waiting to um, kind of see you again and see how your response will be um, because I feel like with this Four of Swords energy, they're they're like working on the way to come to you. Like they're um, constantly thinking about what they're going to say, you know, how they're going to go about it. You know, they're, they're taking more time out for themselves. Um, maybe they'll come to you looking a little different than they did before. Uh, I feel like they're working on several things, okay? But we have the magician. So definitely this is something that, you know, you or this person could be manifesting. I, I feel like they are actively trying to create the best scenario in order to create something meaningful with you. Okay. And uh, I feel like that will make sense, you know, when this person comes into your life or, you know, um, the next time they speak to you okay let's get some love cards let's see what is going on with this person <clears throat> let's see what is going on with this person a message please okay we have We have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So like I said, I feel like you and this person are really manifesting each other. You're kind of bringing each other into your life. You could be soul searching or this person could have been soul searching to create the, the perfect situation. And I'm sorry I'm moving the camera. Okay. Okay, we have freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. So I, I feel like that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to find the most opportune moment, but they don't really realize that, you know, there's no opportune moment. They just have to take that leap of faith and just follow their heart. 
um, but I feel like they're they're waiting. Okay. Okay, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Wow. And we also have romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Okay, so I feel like that's exactly what they're hoping for. They're hoping to make a connection. And with the two of cups being here and the page of, of cups... I really feel like they, they feel like you are their soul match. Okay. I feel like they, they, they feel like you are the one. Okay. Capricorn. Okay. Let's get a message from this person. Spirit, what would this person say to Capricorn if they had the opportune moment? What would they say? What would they say to Capricorn? Oh, I regret lying to you. Um, maybe this person didn't tell you the truth about something. Maybe that'll resonate more with you. Okay. I look, f I look for you everywhere. So like I said, I feel like this person is really thinking about you. You're heavily on their mind. Okay. I will wait from, for a sign from you. And that's exactly what I was getting. I feel like they're, they're waiting for you to make some kind of choice or decision. I feel I'm really seeing that they're waiting for you to just recognize that they may be interested. Okay. I want to feel that way again. I feel like they want to feel the feeling of love, you know, um, like I said, I feel like this person's heart has been broken in the past. But I, I feel like, you know, what they say to you may open your eyes more to how they feel. Because I feel like th this person actually comes around doing a lot of flirting, seeing how you will react to what they say. They may be asking you out kind of jokingly or asking you, you know, to have lunch or, you know, saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you out on a date. You know, something of that nature to see what kind of reaction that you're going to have to their proposition. Okay. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. And we will be together again. Okay, so I feel like this person is really looking forward to trying to have this connection. Let's get some love cards for Capricorn. What's going on, Capricorn? Give me a message. How does this person really feel? What are their hidden intentions? Okay, we have happy choices. Excuse me, healthy choices. I don't know why I said happy choices. But I, like I said, I feel like this person is really joyful. I'm making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. Okay. And I feel like that's what they're looking for. I feel like you or this person could be manifesting more happiness in your life. More joyful moments. You know, more love. More... Uh, feelings of appreciation and I feel like you know the universe is like bringing that forward for you okay we have hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic options not showing your hand gambling yeah, so I definitely feel like, like I said, I feel like this person is waiting for the opportune moment. But they're feeling like, you know, they're ready to gamble and, you know, take a chance on love. And I feel like they're hoping that you feel the same way. Okay, um, let's take a look at this oracle deck sometimes it'll give us a timeline uh, this reading is for March but let's see if it'll give us a more specific time okay tell me about this person
Okay, the cards that wanted to fall out <laughs> are abundance and remain positive. Okay. So I feel like that's kind of the approach that they're taking. They, they feel like by remaining positive, they're going to have a positive outcome. And I feel like actually you are the abundance that they're looking for. You know, love. They're waiting for that opportunity. That that time when, when it's particularly right. You know, a lot of things are jumbled, so I feel like I'm fumbling with my words. And I feel like this person may fumble with their words as well when they kind of talk to you. That can also be an indication of the person who wants to make an offer. They kind of fumble with their words. Okay? Hmm. This person might be going through some kind of recovery or come some kind of situation. Okay. But I feel like this person is really waiting for a yes. I keep getting yes. They're waiting for a yes. It's very interesting, Capricorn. There's only two yeses in this deck, but each time I shuffle, I keep getting yes. Hmm. Okay. Well, Capricorn, I am going to leave it at that. Um, but this is your reading for March 2023. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. I have all of the March readings up. So if you want to take, at your, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising, and maybe even your Venus sign, that will give you more clarity on what's going on. And if, um, if this doesn't resonate, of course, you can go to another collective reading as well. Okay? But Capricorn, until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.